how's it going? So it's getting to be evening time and we're out here in the Blue Mountain Range of Northeast Oregon, as you can see behind me. Um, and we're just, you know, we get out here in the evening because we live in the high mountain desert. So like today it was like 110 or something. Way too hot to be out here in the meadows when it's like high noon. <laughs> um, so we're just out driving around. And I thought I would introduce you to my friend Curly Cup Gumweed. Now, she is a really fun ally. Now, I you never hear me say Latin names because like my body like genetically rejects speaking Latin. <laughs> but her Latin name is really fun because it's Grindelia. Um, and for some reason, my mind can grab onto that one. I think it's because it sounds more like a person's name. Um, now, I'll have him get close here. And we call her Curly Cup Gumweed, and that name Gum gives you a real good idea that she is sticky, 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 sticky. Now, you'll notice that we're alongside of the road. I'm not going to gather her from here, but she does like to grow alongside of the road. And any like um, hard, compact clay, rock, she, you'll really find her in areas like that. But she is amazing at one thing. She is a natural expectorant, which means whatever is in your lungs is going to come out with ease. But she's also an antispasmatic, which means if you're coughing, like you have a dry cough and there's nothing going on in there, it's just that you're having spasms and it makes you cough. She's really great for calming that coughing down. Um, now, a lot of plant allies have all these different things that they can do for our bodies, but she's very, very specific for the lungs. and helping to get crap in there that's in there out and really deep stuff too. Um, she is an immune supportive too, but she's not one that you're going to be taking on a regular basis. So honestly, it doesn't really come into play. I mean, not that it's bad to use it while you're using it, but she's not one that I would use on a regular basis to support my immune system because she is a pretty powerful ally. However, with everything that's going on in the world today, she is everywhere this year and I like to really pay attention to what plants are present like in a season and she is just he'll show you look all down the road here every field and meadow we're going in I've never seen so much of her on the mountain um, and so basically I am going to pay attention to the fact that she's showing up strong and hard this season and I'm going to make sure that I have um, curly cup gumweed tincture on hand that way if I catch an illness <laughs> that is making me have a lot of phlegm and congestion like deep in my chest to the point where it wants to turn to pneumonia I am not even gonna let that happen because she's gonna get down in there and break up that mucus and help us cough it out and again even if I have a dry cough from something different she's gonna help with that so I'm gonna have him get real close here so you can see her um, in fact, actually, I want to grab the camera from him. Um, okay, so let's get her. There we go. Look at this. She's really pretty easy to identify. You can see the little curly bits on her, right? See that? And she's pretty amazing. There's not a whole lot of plants that look like her. And this is sticky, sticky stuff right here. Now they call her gum weed, but for the love of God, do not chew her like a piece of gum. <laughs> um, the main way people use her is to make a tincture. Um, you can traditionally make a tea, but I'm gonna tell you right now, that is not gonna be the best thing you've ever drank. So she's just best as a tincture, especially with how, um, um, how resinous she is. You really don't need a lot because she's also pretty strong. I lost my camera guy, let me get him back here. <laughs> Snapping at him. Um, okay, so, you know, and, and she grows pretty much anywhere that there's hard packed soil. I've seen her down south, I've seen her further north, we're pretty high up. She likes to grow, she is native to the US, but she's invasive in a lot of areas, and so she does pop up pretty much everywhere. Um, and she is just one of those allies that I definitely want to have on hand this year and get out there and find. Now, topically, um, you can't, cause she does have um, all these like resinous properties to her, which means that she's got some antibacterial properties, which is one way that she's 
helping um, with our immune system and stuff like that. But that means externally, if you want to, you could take her and infuse an oil um, and use it to make a salve or make a poultice if you had like some stubborn wounds that were that were um, not healing for you. But really, she's just pretty good as an expectorant. So. That's Curly Cup Gumweed, and I'm glad you got to know her. So, I'm gonna stand up here because that sun is just absolutely blinding me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's setting. <laughs> um, if you like my videos, if you like my impromptu stop on the side of the road, let you meet this plant, what I'm all about, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. If you're watching me on Instagram, come find me on YouTube. If you're watching me on YouTube, come find me on Instagram. I'm all over the place giving out as much free information as I can and the most important thing that I want you to know today is that you are absolutely smart enough to do this. You are absolutely smart enough to get out here, to find these plants, to start taking your healing back into your hands and everything you learn, everything you learn on your own out of curiosity is valid. You do not need to pay somebody thousands of dollars to retain this information. You can do this. You really can. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.